sometimes a walk can be really frustrating. First of all, you have dogs that can escape almost any leash. We call them Houdini dogs. Or maybe you've got a dog, even a smaller one, that pulls so hard that the dog takes you for a walk instead of you walking the dog. I get to introduce you to a lady who I met just a few short weeks ago. She is quickly becoming a dear friend. She works and volunteers at animal shelters. She has probably walked more dogs than anyone else I have ever met. She knows every problem and she has created the greatest solution. Let me introduce you to my new friend, Lisa Flynn. How are you? Hi, good day. How are you? How are you? Uh, now you and I have worked together a couple times. Is this getting any easier? No. <laughs> are you still nervous? Yes, very. <laughs> you are so wonderful. I want to also, if I may, introduce my wife, Kelly, and two of my family members. This is Peyton, the biggest troublemaker puppy you'll ever meet in your life. This little girl is the coolest cucumber in the world. Hi. That is Raven. But both of these dogs are what you're used to. Dogs that can either escape. What a bad feeling that is, because then oh, you have no control. Yes. Yeah. In a very loose dog, it, it feels, for those of us who are pet owners, that's like losing your toddler in the mall, yeah. only worse. Yeah, it really is. It's scary. And I get emails all the time from people that um, have had that happen over and over again. You got the one that you just forwarded to me? Yeah. From for, a QVC for, viewer? Yes, yep. yes. And she has a very timid dog. Um, and so she said this has just been a game changer for them. This has just been like a life changer for them because it keeps the dog secure and safe. And now she can be more relaxed on the walk yep. and she's more comfortable and confident on the walk. There are three things that this harness does that regular dog leashes cannot do and can never do. Number one, if your dog is a Houdini dog and can back out of a harness and now it's free to roam. If your dog pulls like crazy, we've got video of you walking four dogs all at once. The yeah. dogs cannot pull. The third thing is most harnesses, most leashes go around the neck. That's, that's not humane. <laughs> this fits comfortably around the barrel of the chest, and we'll show you, these two are going to play. These it show you exactly how you hook it up. It takes just seconds to do. It's the most humane and comfortable way to walk a dog. Yes, so it's very simple to put on, Dan. It's very easy, it's just hey, two baby. steps. Here we go. So what you're gonna Stay do there. is you can size it for the different dogs that you need. So if you need it for- And we've got two sizes, dogs for that weigh about- 14 50. pounds up to 40. Okay. And then over 40 pounds for the medium All the way large. up to like a bull mastiff that weighs 200 pounds. Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. And so you can just size it like this with the collar small uh -huh. for a smaller dog, or you can just make it for whatever size that you need. So for Raven here, we're gonna make it about this size and we're gonna put it over her head. And the way you size it for your particular dog is you're just gonna move these stops so that they line up with the back of the front leg. Yep. Just like that. And you wanna have this opening across the shoulders. There. It's a little buttonhole right there. Okay. And by the way, as, as Lisa's showing you, Lisa's team makes these by hand. Yes. One at a time. Yep, all handmade. And then you're just gonna wrap it under the body and bring everything up through that opening. Yep. And then you just lower the stop down. Now, when the dog pulls, the way it's gonna reduce the pulling is that it tightens around yeah. the barrel only. This part you can see with this stop set here, this stays stationary, will you? but this part will tighten when they pull. So this is going to encourage and remind them to slow their pace. And much of the time, the disc may be up in the air. It's, it acts as a floater. So that is correct that it should be up in the air. And then when they relax, it'll relax back down in that way. So when you've got that dog again, that takes you for the walk, it automatically adjusts itself. It makes the dog more comfortable in their own space. It's much more humane and it's simple. Now, that wonderful dog, and I know that's one of yours. Brody, oh, here's Charlie. Charlie, Charlie was the worst the collar. collar in the world. Pulling on a collar there. All you changed here was the lead. It's, that's it. Yes. It was one Look shot right after difference. another, and it was it was really amazing. And this is like four dogs under control. And Lisa, I won't embarrass you, but all four of those babies are Lisa's. Oh, they're and so cute. And all four of them are <laughs> rescues. Yeah. So I understand your heart. What you have done, and let's come back here. I want to show the colors. What Lisa has created is literally the perfect harness. Already, we've got a couple colors that are sold out and gone. They're made individually by her teammates by hand. So it's gonna take a while to get them back in. Basic black. This one is our, our kind of grape and red. And then this one happens to be my favorite, and this is what I use on my dog, Voodoo. 
It's bright orange and it's got these fluorescent little uh, threads in it that when headlights of a car see it, they glow. Yes, it's reflective, so it reflects the light off of the, the headlights of the car. In this color, we're down to small, medium only. The larger is gone. Uh, by the way, the one that Kelly has with Peyton, our puppy, Lisa, I gotta tell you, <laughs> this thing has been dragged through the mud. Uh, it's been used for months and months on end. You can't kill these things. No, they're... And we've had very expensive leather leashes Peyton likes to take Raven for a walk. She puts hers in her mouth and the two play in the yard <laughs> together. I am so impressed with the quality and even more, I'm impressed with the humanity. You know what, it actually gets stronger over time, Dan, okay. because that's the way splicing works. What, what um, is this rope that you use? Because it's not it's, stiff it's at all. It's nylon, okay. it's nylon, but it's, it is very soft and silky. And the way that, that the connections are made, it's spliced by hand. So this is the strongest way to bond it's rope together. It's the stuff together. that mountain climbers use, basically. Mountain climbers yeah. and boaters. Yep. And so if this can hold a boat, it can hold a dog. <laughs> and actually, True. over time, the more it's pulled, it gets more and more knotted in here, so it gets stronger and stronger over time rather than weaker. Well, uh, Kelly is an expert. Kelly is one of America's best known animal oh, yeah. trainers. <laughs> um, it, there really has not been a change in a dog leash in the last 20 to 25 years. This is much, they're gonna jump on each other. <laughs> it, this is going to be the humane way to do it. Again, it doesn't go around the throat. It goes around the barrel of the dog. And we've got a stuffed animal here th that isn't rolling around like jello with fur. We can show it here. I wanted to point out too, Dan, um, another thing about chafing too. A lot right. of harnesses actually will hit into the sensitive armpit area, yep. which is going to be the most sensitive and area. And as the, on dog, the dog moves, it rubs. This yeah. doesn't do that. This it's actually not against wraps, the throat. Yeah, the it's barrel. It's around the barrel, which is the and strongest area of the dog. doesn't hit into that into that area. Uh, if your dog backs out of a leash, it becomes that Houdini dog that now. I've spent hours looking for my boy mm -hmm. just in tears right? because you worry about traffic, you worry about this or that. Or if that dog pulls like crazy and takes you for a drag instead of you taking the dog for a walk, just using this compels the dog to take away both of those types of behavior. And Dan, you know, that's why I have rescue groups yeah. literally around the world using it, specifically because it gives you a real sense of security to use this leash. You know. It makes you feel better with your pet, your pet feels better with yeah. you. And you know the dog is not gonna get loose from you. So that's why rescues, and rescue groups and shelters, animal shelters are right. using it. And they know dogs, they're around dogs all the time. And they need to keep dogs in their control, yep. secure, and that is the reason why they've chosen Harness Lead and depend I, on it. I know you're not yet comfortable on TV, but you will get there. And our <laughs> audience, they can I'm feel your passion, <laughs> what you've done with rescue dogs. Uh, uh, you're a wonderful human being. Thank I'm so you glad so I know much, you. Dan. Thank Kelly, you. Thank I'm you. I'm so glad I know you too. Uh, <laughs> we've had over 700 ordered. Now, again, in that small medium, that's a dog that weighs 14 pounds up to 40, we still have the fluorescent orange, but that's going quickly. The larger size is sold out. This is our red and purple combination made just for QVC, and here is the basic black. They will not fail you. It is the best lead I've ever seen. Thank, Thank you again, you Lisa. Again. Thank Thanks, you again. Thanks, puppies. Thanks, puppies. <laughs> hey, coming up in a little bit, we're gonna talk about protecting your furniture as well. And if you have leather furniture in particular,